Hey, it's Tim from Zillia Outdoors. And Caden from Colby Plush Movie. Uh, we're starting a new project here at the shop. We're, uh, if you remember our hood replacement video. We, you, there was a big part on the back that did not look very good. We're gonna be trying to, we're gonna be trying to fix it. Okay, we're gonna be trying to fix that part and a few other parts. Yeah, the uh, LX255 had a big gash in the back fender. Uh, so we're going to be uh, taking a few parts off that fender to make it easier to work on. We're going to do some Bondo work, some primer, some paint, and we're going to put that sucker back together and make it look pretty, just like the hood. You know. And we have done this before. Like we're going to. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this a second time, basically. We've already done it for practice, but oh. we've taken the parts off so we could get it all ready. Yeah, there's we no, haven't uh, done the entire painting. Yeah, thing. no practice run on the paint and everything. That's gonna be that that because that won't do a practice run. That'll be the actual run. Yep. yep. So there we go. And what was that noise? Loose dogs. Loose dogs. All right. Anyways. So hang tight and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. This is all the stuff we're gonna be using, and let's explain it all. All right. So we got dust mask. So we're gonna be. Working with some uh, dangerous dust. Got our painter's tape or masking tape. You can use whatever kind you want, it just has to be masking tape. That will protect the parts we don't want to get paint on or we don't want to get uh, hit with the sander. We've got our Bondo. We've got our primer. And then we've got some sanding disc here. We've got the coarse, the medium, and the fine. And this is going to be and We're going to use the uh, random orbital sander. And we're going to use this thing. That'll help us spread the Bondo. And we're going to have a snack right here. Yep. So we can have a snack on the way in case we get hungry. And... And let's look at some of the damage we're going to be working on. First off... we got this big dent, which I touched over top of with some of our uh, spray paint to see if the color matched. And it did. It matched perfectly, so we're going to go ahead and do it. And then we've got some rust bubbles along the way we're going to touch up too. We'll just make our way around. There's some good scuffs. So we'll probably go all the way around this bottom quarter, kind of from there to there. And, all right, let's get into now we're this. We're just going to put this masking tape on. We'll get it around the edge of this kind of stuff. Keep the sander from hitting it and uh, keep it from turning green with green paint. Yeah, because we don't want that. All right, let's do this. All right, so, so far we've done this part. It's not much, but at least it'll protect things. We also took off this part. The cruise and, control. Yeah, the cruise control. So, um, we're gonna start sanding. Start sanding. Yep. yep. We're, gonna start we're gonna start with the course. We're starting with the course. Yeah. All right, we got all our rough sanding done. You can see down along the bottom of the fender. That's where all those rust bubbles were, where the paint was peeling and coming up. And. Uh, now it's time we can do the bondo, and that's the exciting part. That's what we've all been waiting for. So, pause, and we'll get that mixed up. The mixing, we've mm -hmm. already got this opened. We've got the bondo, the hardening agent, and this to mix it together. Yeah, now let's. Gonna, we're going to use this old uh, cat sand box lid. So let's get into this. We use those cat sand lids for everything. You, you noticed in, my, in the video that's my stool as well. Old cat sand bucket. So we've got a little bit of this. It's a whitish gray color. Not not much gray, but it is kind of gray. Nice and messy. And how much of this do we need? About an inch and a quarter line. All right. So do you know how much that is? Yeah. Okay. So it's a pretty weird color. It's a pretty nice red, but you never know. Alright, we mix these together. Yep. And we gotta work pretty quick. Yep, because the Bondo dries up quick. Right? Well, that red stuff makes it hard. Yeah. So how much time do we have? Just a few minutes. And after a few minutes, that's all. That's all the time we get. So it looks kind of like slime at this point. Right? Right. So if it looks pink, like pinkish color and it looks like slime, then you did it right. We're just gonna keep mixing a little bit, and uh, we'll meet you over here. Actually, no, we don't need to do a cut, but I will. 
because who cares? Alright, I'm moving my stool back over here. And we're going to do a random cut that doesn't need to happen so we can do this. But first, that's how you apply it. Just spread it on. It's going to gonna be kind of chunky apparently, right? Yep, it's going to be ugly at first. But eventually it'll look quite a bit in the time that we were gone. So I don't even know what we did because I was inside. So what did we do? Well, we uh, sanded down all the loose chipping paint, sanded off where it was rusted underneath that loose chipping paint, sanded down the area where the dent was, filled the dent with Bondo, sanded that back smooth again, and touched the whole thing up with some primer. And now we're going to be doing painting. Well, we're going to let that dry tonight, and then uh, yeah. we'll come back in the next day or two and finish the painting. So, see you in a couple days. But maybe just kind of point out where that uh, big dent was. It looks a lot better, huh? Yeah, th that's where the dent was. So, we're going to be back in a few days, and we're going to be painting. All right. See you so, then. we've done some work on the tractor. We've mainly done the painting. That's the main thing we've done. And you can barely tell that it even looked bad to begin with. It just looks really nice now. And it doesn't look like there's anything else we really have to do. This bar bothers me a lot. How there's just something on it. Uh, I think a little bird or something just pooped on there while we were... <laughs> yeah. But we might need to fix this. Uh, it just needs a good cleaning. The deck uh, definitely needs some repair. But uh, I have some... Uh, work to do at our church that is is rough so I don't mind having a beat up deck for that and maybe I'll find a good used one in good condition so I'm gonna leave the deck the way it is for now and yeah we'll we're just gonna end up the video now all right here we are back on the porch to wrap things up so yeah we're going so this is just a random announcement for the second anniversary of the forced video on this channel is me chose forced well, I'll tell you in a second. But, maybe second, second anniversary. Ha ha, I am very funny, living legend. Okay, but anyways, okay, this thing's very annoying, hold on. Okay, yeah, I kicked it off. Anyways, like I was saying, we are going to be doing a Q&A for the second anniversary of the channel. Yeah. Forced, we're not doing forced because it's like in a few months. It'll be around Thanksgiving. It will be a, the, the anniversary of the channel. So yep. Hang tight for that. So... And I apologize for some of the some steps in the the bodywork and paint yep. process being missing. Because Dad was responsible for the videotaping of that part of it. He basically put it the wrong way. So it, you know how you look. That's, these videos are recorded sideways, but he recorded them like this on the phone. So Not acceptable. It, and it just would look cringy. It wouldn't work well. So, anyways. Hope you guys are excited for the Q&A, so leave a question in the comments, just about, remember, about tractors, repairing them, or, or plans for the future of the channel. And without further ado, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff, even ring the notification bell. And if you want other friends to see it who need help, then just share it with them, because we need views. And our non-running 345 is coming at you next. That's our next project. Yeah, so, it, so hang tight it for just that. doesn't look very good. We might put a picture at the end. Yes, we will put a picture at the end of it. That's a good idea. It looks very bad right now. Yeah. We're going to try to be getting it walking. And if it doesn't walk, then we'll just use it to show things off. We'll use it for parts or something. All right. Yeah. Anyways. Thanks for joining us. And, yeah, like I said... Like, subscribe, share this video with a friend, comment, a question for the Q&A. Oh, yeah, that thing, that sticker you have. Oh, I got a new bumper sticker for the back. I'm going to put that on there, too. Yep, so. it's, it's been sitting around for a long time. Been in my toolbox for a while and found a home for it. And, yeah, so without further ado, this is the, probably the longest outro yet. And this is our second attempt at it because he decided to end off the first attempt early. Before I, out, before I said all the ending stuff. Let's, yeah. Good night. Be sure to watch another Thanks for video. Thanks Bye-bye.